What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and it is true that quarantining can suck, but for me, life has actually been pretty good stuck at home, thanks to several of the gadgets that I've been using around the house. I'm gonna show you guys my top five quarantine gadgets that have made life so much better during this time. Let's go ahead and get started. My favorite quarantine gadget has to be the Unlimited X Race Kit by Loaded Boards. They were nice enough to send out not only the race kit, but also a brand new board. So this is awesome because you can convert any skateboard into an electric board with Unlimited X. Now I've never built a skateboard in my life, but they sent me all the parts and in about half an hour, I had my board totally assembled. Anyone can feel safe and comfortable using the Unlimited X race kit. It has two motors and two batteries. It can get up to 26 miles per hour and has a distance range of about 13 miles which is insane. It can also climb hills, which surprised me. I weigh about 200 and uh, some odd pounds. I'm losing a little bit of weight. I'm on Weight Watchers currently. But even with me being big boned and all, I was able to hit hills and use the boost feature to climb hills with this Unlimited X race kit. It actually has four modes. So I started out on the snail's pace and after about a week or so of learning how to turn it and learning how to navigate on this thing, I was able to crank up the speed and reach top speeds. And I'm telling you, man, it feels awesome going at about 20 miles per hour on a skateboard. Also wanted to mention that it comes with a really good remote control that is super responsive when you're accelerating and when you're braking. And it also has a couple of extra features. So you can actually enable the cruise control mode and then there is a nitro boost mode, which is what I was able to use to get up those hills in my neighborhood. There's also an application that allows you to configure different settings with your board, including uh, those speed settings. I started out with Snell and ended up on Pro. Over the past month or so, I've definitely logged lots and lots of miles, and I love how this thing gets me outdoors. I'm able to kind of see neighbors, not interact with them, of course, but wave at them from a distance, and just being outdoors, getting out of the house, has really helped me get through this time. And Loaded really hooked me up. They sent me out a brand new Bang Reversion 2 board, brand new trucks, brand new orangutan wheels, and of course, the Unlimited X race kit. So big shout outs to them for the hookup. So of course, when you're stuck in the house, one of the things that you're naturally going to do is you're going to stream tons of TV shows and tons of movies. I was able to introduce my little man to Back to the Future, and now he's hooked. His favorite's Back to the Future 2. That's also my favorite. Which Back to the Future is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. But we were able to watch it on a massive 120 inch screen thanks to Elite Screen. So big shout outs to Elite Screen. They were able to send out the 120 inch Sable Frame 2 Series screen. Before this, we were just projecting onto our wall. The wall was fine, uh, but it did have some issues as far as the paint on the wall is actually a textured paint and that could be annoying at times. We get such a much better image with this screen. The screen will only set you back about $400. And I think that is an awesome deal. It only took us about an hour to put it together. And for me, it was a two-man team because of the way that it stretches. You've gotta have someone to stretch and then someone to attach the screen to the frame. The frame was easy enough to install. I had my father-in-law come out and help me get everything level. But in the end, I think this was an awesome upgrade to our theater room experience. And we've been able to watch so many movies as a family, and especially since we can't make it to the actual theater, we were able to watch Trolls World Tour and some of those other movies that released in home, which was awesome. I was glad to be able to have that kind of an experience with my family while stuck at home. In my opinion, the best possible 4K streaming device on the market right now has to be the NVIDIA Shield TV. NVIDIA was nice enough to send out their latest NVIDIA Shield TV product. When it comes to an Android TV streaming device, you really can't beat the NVIDIA Shield TV. This thing comes with a Tegra X1 Plus processor, a 256 core NVIDIA GPU, and two gigabytes of RAM. You're never gonna see any slowdowns or hiccups with this device. I was able to do things like stream my own collection of movies from my Plex server with no issues whatsoever. We're able to uh, watch Netflix and YouTube, and we were also able to do some light video gaming on this device. I'm actually loving the all new form factor. It's just a small cylinder, which is super easy to hide out of the way. I can imagine having a wall mounted TV and just being able to Velcro that to the back of the wall mounted TV. In my setup, I've got it just sitting directly behind 
my ultra short throw projector. And then of course the main upgrade here is the all new remote control. Not only does the new remote come in a new shape, it also includes some really great features, including motion activated backlights, Bluetooth connectivity, it has an IR blaster for your TV, and it also has a built-in remote locator, which in my house with a 10 year old, a six year old, and a almost two year old, remotes get lost all the time. So this has definitely been a lifesaver. If you're gonna have to be stuck in the house and if you're having to work from home, that means it's definitely time for a work setup upgrade. BenQ was nice enough to send out the EW3280U monitor, which has been an awesome addition to my work from home setup. This is a 32 inch IPS panel with 4K resolution and 60 Hertz refresh rate. Now that 60 Hertz can actually be bumped up to 75 Hertz, which means that you can get some casual gaming going on through this display. This this has definitely been great for streaming movies and TV on the side of whatever project I'm currently working on. This also includes a 2.1 channel speaker system with a five watt subwoofer, and I was able to listen to music throughout the day while doing my work out of these awesome speakers. One of the things that sets this monitor apart is the HDRI Advantage. HDRI is BenQ's very own HDR technology and improves image contrast and clarity for greater detail. Dark corners reveal what they are hiding and bright areas are not overexposed. HDRI takes color to the next level of accuracy and intensity by adding refined saturation and elevated balance to images to ensure a mind-blowing color experience. The game-changing feature here is the intelligent control. This uses an almost invisible sensor to detect the lighting in your room to make adjustments to the screen brightness and color temperature based on ambient lighting in the room, giving you the best possible image. Big shout outs to BenQ for sending out this monitor. This has been a game changer in my work setup while working from home. The last thing in my arsenal of quarantine tech has to be the Razer Blade Stealth 4K Touch. This Ultrabook laptop has been incredible with a 4K touch display and enough power to play any game that you throw at it. This Ultrabook is super thin at 0.6 inches and it only weighs about three pounds, which is super light for a gaming PC. This is super portable. In some cases, it's even more portable than my MacBook Pro. I can easily slide it into a backpack and carry it around with me when I'm on the move. If you've ever used a humongous gaming laptop, those things are actually more suited for sitting on top of a desk. They get way too hot. They're super uncomfortable in your lap. This was not uncomfortable to use in my lap. I could actually sit on a couch and play video games right there in my living room. The version of the 13 inch laptop that Razer sent out is the one with the 4K touch display and having that extra touch functionality is pretty awesome. You know, when you're used to touch screen devices, it's so natural to just reach up and touch the screen. The 4K display was great for watching content, but for most gaming applications, I did dial it down to 1080p while gaming for the best possible performance on this laptop. As far as IO is concerned, you do have a USB-C port and a USB 3.1 port with an audio jack on the left side and a USB-C and a USB 3.1 jack on the right side. While there's not a ton of ports on this laptop, these are all very useful. We've got C and A on both sides of the laptop, which is great. The USB-C also functions as a Thunderbolt 3 port, so you can get super fast charging on this laptop, which can be a game changer. The model that Razer sent out to me did include an Intel Core i7 1065 G7 processor, 16 gigabytes of memory, a 512 gigabyte SSD, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics processor. As far as actual gaming performance, when you throw games at it that are super high intensity with the graphics, it's still able to run 30 to 60 frames per second at full HD. When you throw less graphic intensive games at it, like Fortnite or Apex Legends, this thing can easily reach 120 frames per second. For an ultra portable 13 inch laptop, this thing is absolutely no slouch in the gaming department. Of course, this is not going to be the laptop for ultra enthusiasts, but if you're like me and you need a portable, practical laptop that you'd like to actually do some gaming with, this is probably the perfect laptop for you and I've really enjoyed it during my time of quarantine. Anyways guys, that about wraps it up for this tech roundup. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button and also liking this video. You can also check me out on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter of course where I'll be posting even more content. Thanks for watching once again. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.